<laughs> now that we're unanimous in approval, let's get on with the other business. And Stephen should be here now. He should be, and he is. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, hello, hello, hello Stephen. Hello. Now, gentlemen, let us get down to the real object of this meeting. I have just made an investment, the greatest coup in the gem market, and it only costs $200,000. The Jarvis Diamond. The Jarvis Diamond? Why, this is not a coup, it's a disaster. One moment, gentlemen. You're letting your imagination run away with you. The trail of death and destruction behind that diamond is not imagination. Davis, I'm not superstitious, but I'd suggest that we get rid of that stone before we too feel its curse. Nonsense. How can a piece of glass bring anybody hard luck? Besides, Davis has a plan for getting rid of it at a substantial profit. Exactly. I intend to have the diamond cut up so that when it is sold, its reputation will not be known. That's fine. That's a good idea. Now you're talking. But for the very objections that you bring up, the cutting must be with the utmost secrecy. Uh, do you remember Peter Lanning? Of course. He was one of the finest diamond cutters in the world. No, but he retired years ago. I've already been in touch with him. He's been ill and is recuperating in the little town of San Juan. I think I can get him to cut the stone. Oh, that'll be fine. Maybe that'll break the curse, too. Then I take it you gentlemen are satisfied to leave the matter entirely in my hands. It's all right. Certainly. I suppose so. Certainly. Why not? Or... Now, Stevens, do you mind telling me just why you require my particular talent? First, let me ask you, would $5,000 increase blood pressure? Not a degree. I made more than that in the horses yesterday. 10,000. 25. That's extortion. I could you. If you only could jump from five grand to 10 grand as fast as that, it must be mighty important. 15. The deal. Now, what do I do and where do I do it? The Jarvis diamond is going to be cut up into smaller stones. I want them. Hmm. And dabbling in the market again? Well, diamonds. Awfully hot stuff to dispose of. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is put them in my hands and cut your 15,000. For 15 grand, Stevens. I'll set the Golden Gate Bridge right near your left. The stone will be sent to the cutter in a few days. I'll let before it leaves. Who's handling the job? A man named Peter Lanning. Lives in San Juan. San Juan, huh? Hey, what kind of a burg is this San Juan anyway? And I want these girls to know what it's all about. I get you. You're the clumsiest thing. Say, what are we going to be doing down there? I don't know yet. It's the only thing I haven't figured out. Telegram for John Henry Morgan. OK, I'll find it. Matter, are you glued there? Oh, you want a tip. Here's a tip, kid. Bet on tough luck in the third racing bar. Well, go on, get going. Thanks very much. Get going. <laughs> <laughs> Work, I'll leave the kid alone. Pretty good one, too, kid. Where'd you learn it? Oh, I fight a little bit now and then. Can't afford to quit my job and take it up serious. Well, I think you've got something there. Don't give it up. It's for you, boss. This is for the fight fund. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. Good night. Good night. Everything all the same? Everything but your jaw. Oh, I was only kidding. Al, come here, Shorty. Don't let that messenger boy get away. 
Dave. You girls, catch yourself a drink. Oh, honey. Go on, move. Sit down here, boy. This is the message that we've been waiting for. Al, you're taking the boys to San Juan tomorrow. I'll follow. When we get there, we don't know each other. Say, I'd never forget it, pal. You'd better this time. He'll sure feel good to get in action again. But you still haven't told us what we're supposed to be doing there. I didn't know myself until a minute ago. That messenger boy gave me an excellent idea. We're going to train for a fight. The battling messenger boy. Exactly. We're going to back him and train him for the ring. But don't let him get wise that it's just a stall. Say, where do we put up in this uh, San Juan? I'll tell Al all about it. The rest of you will take orders from him. I'm getting awful tired. So am I. Let's quit. Sure, tomorrow's another day. How about a poker game, boys? Now you're talking. All right, kid, get in. You can finish training down at the gym. Yeah, but listen, I'm just getting warmed up. Get in here. Hey, listen, wait. Oh. Hey, listen, you guys, I want to train. All right, Junior, I'll buy you a little electric one. <laughs> what are you, a smart guy? Listen, <laughs> Dad. Sorry to disturb you. No trouble, Dorothy. The cook's busy and Oli's upstairs someplace. Who's is that? A new man. He's out at the barn, I think. Another one of those trainers of Kid Harris? No, my dear. He's a writer, I believe. Oh, that's a relief. Did you give him a room? No, I told him to have to see you. But you ran this place. Did you also tell him that I ran you too? No. I thought he'd find that out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lanning? Yes. I spoke to your father about a room. So he told me. I have one upstairs, the left front room, which I think you'll find nice and quiet. That's just what I need. I'm down here to do a little research work on the life of Joaquin Murrieta. I'm a bit sensitive to noise when I'm writing. Naturally. If you wait just a moment, I'll show you your room. Oh, no, don't bother. I can find it. The left front, you said? Yes. Thank you. Oh, here's your bag. Oh, yes, thanks. How do you do? Uh, are there any vacancies here? I believe so. Won't you come in? Thank you. Uh, my name is Carter, Jerry Carter. Uh, are you the manager here? <laughs> well, there really isn't any. Things just sort of run along by themselves. <laughs> well, that's what I'd call perfect management. It makes it quite certain that I've come to the right house for lodgings. I think we can find you a room. <laughs> Will you be staying long? Well, uh, a quite possible. Just one for you, Dad. Oh, thank you, dear. Well, I suppose you'd like to see your room. Oh, yes. This way, please. How do you do, Miss Wallace? Oh, I'm so glad to meet you, Mr. Carter. Thank you. My, this place is getting more interesting every day. You know, I was just saying to my niece, Yvonne... If you'll excuse us, Miss Wallace, I must show Mr. Carter the room. Oh, I'm so glad you're going to be with us. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Wallace. Yes. Oh, Yvonne, 
we have a new guest. Really? Yes, he has the room right across the hall oh. from us. He's the best looking thing. I'm gonna see. Ivan, you come here. Do you like it? Do you think it'll be quiet enough? Oh, yes, yes. Suits me perfectly. I'll have only take that stuff out in a few minutes. Oh, there's no hurry about that, Miss Lanning. It makes me feel right at home. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything. Thanks. I won't. Only me. Oh, come in, come in. Oh, uh, there's no hurry. Oh, thank you, thank you. If uh, you want anything, you you slap me now, please. I guess they kind of keep you on the go around here, don't they? Oh, yeah, upstairs, downstairs, forth and back. There was always something. <laughs> Tell me, uh, are there many people that stay here? Oh, there's the boss. She, Miss Dorothy. Oh, she fine girl. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, and there's her father. My, but you're graceful. Graceful? And hey, what do you think this is, lady? A ballroom? My name's Yvonne. Yeah, I know. I never saw a prize fight before. No? I didn't know it was anything like a rope. All you have to do is be the rope skipping champion of the world. What's the matter? My, but you have pretty muscles. Pretty? Yeah. Look, lady, do you want to help me train? Sure. All right, come here. Now, look, this, this is a very important fact in my training. In fact, it may make me the featherweight champion of the world. Really? Yeah, now look. See, look, this, this is the end of the rope. Yes, I know. Now, I want you to hold that and hold it very, very tight. All right. See, now, all right, you ready? Yes. No, don't look at me. You, you look right up there at the, at the end of the rope. Now, you watch that very, very carefully. All right. Now, you're all set, huh? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, go. Thank you very much. Now, now don't let go. It, it's sure nice of you to let me help you. And this uh, writer you were telling me about, Mr. Moreland, what's he like? Oh, a fine fella. And smart, awful smart. <coughs> Holy yumping ye, I got to go. What's that, a fire? No, there's Miss Doherty. She calling me. I better hurry. <laughs> I feel so silly holding this. Can I let go now? My arms are getting tired. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Did I hurt you? Yes, you did. That's good. What do you mean that's good? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why, uh... uh... Oh, Mr. Carter, <laughs> I thought you two should get acquainted since you're both bringing Joaquin Marietta back to life. Mr. Carter, Mr. Moreland. Uh, so, so you're, you're writing, writing a... a... <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you getting along? Oh, fine. Uh, how are you getting along? Oh. Yeah. Well, of course, I'm just getting into my subject, but... Uh, I find it very interesting. Yes. Uh, how about you? Uh, I'm in exactly the same boat. A sort of uh, feeling my way. It takes time, you know. <laughs> yes, it, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, let's not talk shop. No, that's just what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, we might mislead each other. <laughs> right. Well, uh, it's uh, just about time for my walk. Oh, nice day for a walk. Yes, it is a nice day, isn't it? So if uh, you will excuse me, Mr. Moreland. Oh, certainly. I'll uh, see you. Yes, go. Have you any books on Joaquin Murrieta? I'm sorry, that gentleman over there has them all. Thank you.
Oh, hello. Very colorful. And a very fascinating subject. Uh, yes, uh, I suppose so. Aren't you interested in diamonds? No, not particularly. Are you? They've played a very important part in history. Sometimes a very dangerous part. And what I came over to ask was if I might borrow one of these books on Joaquin Murrieta. Well, certainly, help yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Murrieta. If that guy Carter knows anything about Murrieta, I'll buy that library and give it a chuck for a birthday present. Who, me? I've already got a book. Yeah, and maybe someday you'll learn to read it. Hey, Professor. Moreland's the name. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You suppose that guy could be after the diamond the same as we are? We'll have to keep our eyes on him. If he's trying to muscle in on our game, he'll soon run out of muscle. Then get on out there now and look after the kid. You better not come back here again. We can't take any chances. Come on, come on. Put a little pep into that. You're dying on your feet. Oh, uh, what's the difference? I don't seem to be having any fights coming up anyhow. Well, you ain't yet. Oh, no? No, you couldn't even flatten a marshmallow in your condition. Al said so and he knows. Yeah, well, I still think I can do pretty good with you. Oh, go on. Well, I... I doubt both of you. Now, you get this, kid. When I do match you, it ain't gonna be with any ham and egg or it's gotta be a top spot. Now, get going. Okay, Al, I'm sorry. You better keep your trap closed, Chuck. Well, what did I do? Nothing, nothing. Just lay off the kid. You spoil this deal and you'll never have a chance to spoil anything else. All right, Al, but I'm kind of getting nervous hanging around here waiting for that ice. Listen, looks like we'll be over any time now. How do you know? Something stirring? Looks that way. The boss wants us to meet him tonight. Where? They're opening a new roadhouse here, the Murrieta Inn. He wants us to meet him there. I saw that spot the other day. Say, it's about time something was happening. What's that you're drawing, Al? Oh, I was trying to figure out how old man Lanning's going to crack up that diamond. Yeah, that must be a pretty risky business. Risky? Huh, if that guy misses by a fraction of an inch, he'll wreck the whole works. Mr. Carter. Well, this is a pleasure, Miss Lanning. Oh, gathering inspiration? As a matter of fact, inspiration just walked into me. Oh, do you recognize it? Oh, my dear lady, do we have to be introduced all over again? After a charming reply like that, I feel I must show you something which may be of real value in your writings concerning Joaquin Murrieta. Thank you. Right over there where that barn stands, Joaquin once hid in an old well. Hmm, how interesting. Do you mind showing me? Not at all. Come along. Would you like to go for a nice long walk? Oh, do you want to go for a walk? No, uh, I don't want to go, but I thought maybe you would. Oh, I don't like to walk by myself. Besides, I like this much better than that silly rope skipping. By the way, did you ever get that rope fixed? Look, you shouldn't hang around here. Why not? Well, this is no place for children. I mean... You... Children? Well, all right, a woman's place is in the home. Is that why you left me standing here the other day? No, I left you standing here the other day because I thought it'd teach you to stay away from Well, if that's the way you feel about me... You're not leaving, are you? D don't you want me to go? Well, sure, I want you to go, but I just wanted to make sure when you were going to leave. He's not so tough, only loud. How about it, kid? Oh! Oh, are you hurt? <laughs> Get out of the way. Why, you big mother? Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, 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 let me see that poor eye. Never mind my poor eye, will you? Oh, 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 oh. Please, oh, let please. me look. A smart guy, huh? <laughs> What'd you have to come in here for, it? No, Knew you were gonna get in trouble. Well, you <laughs> wondering whether to train the kid or to kill him. Big Mug looked like he was trying to choke him to death. Who, him? <laughs> Why, he wouldn't hurt the kid for anything in the world. Would you, Chuck? Who, me? No, I'm just crazy about him. Swell, fella. I I'm so sorry. I, I guess it was all my fault. O only I didn't think it would turn out so... so violent. Hey, are you all right? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh! Oh. Ah! Oh. Hey, what's... Hey! Hey, get a doctor, somebody! Don't stand there! Do something! Why don't you do something? I don't know what to do. Maybe I can help. Uh, they say cold water's awfully good for fainting spells. Oh, is it? Well... Hey, wait! As one woman to another, that's fine cooperation. <laughs> well, what's eating her? <laughs> Let's go out and get a little fresh air, kid. Hey, you know, I think that was a frame-up. <laughs> well, drop in any time. Thanks. Just a little game we were playing. Oh, I see. Uh, you play a lot of little games, don't you? Thanks for the help. I sure needed it. You seem to be doing pretty good. Hey, you know, these guys don't seem to care whether I get into condition or not. I'm getting pretty fed up with the whole thing. I want to ask you something. Tell me, is Al the boss? Well, I, I thought he was, but he said something about meeting the boss tonight. Yeah? Where, here? No, uh, up at the Murrieta Inn. It's, it's a new joint that's opening up the line. Oh. Say, girls. Well? Sorry to keep you waiting, but I just got a great idea. What do you say we all go someplace tonight? There's a new roadhouse opening up near here. Would you like to go? Oh, come now. Surely the landing house can do without its charming hostess for one evening. Yvonne, would you like to go? Gee, yeah. Would you? <laughs> Who, me? No, no, I, I gotta stay here and train. Oh, you can take your rope along. Come on, don't be no meanie. Let me alone. How about you? <laughs> say, hey, I started this. You girls be ready in an hour? I'm ready right now. <laughs> I have responsibilities. Make it an hour and a half. Sold to the lady at my right for an hour and a half. All right. Come along, Yvonne. See you later. See you later? I thought you said you had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Say, my aunt doesn't let me go out like this often. I thought we were going to have a swell time. You call dancing a swell time? Of course. Of course. Oh, come on. Let's dance. No. Come on. Hey, 
Okay, cut it. Don't oh, you got come anybody on. looking at you? Oh, well, come yeah, on. All right, I'll do it. Stevens. It should be here the first thing tomorrow morning. Great. Then we can grab it off and get away from here. Not so fast. You mean we're going to have to stick around here longer? What are you squawking about? You're getting paid for it, aren't you? The deal I made was to get the stuff as soon as the diamond had been cut up. That's the way it's going to be. Hey, Jerry. Come here. Look who just joined our little playmates over there. Hey. They said they were going to meet the boss. I wonder if this guy... I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'm going out and peel a fish. Really? Oh, the kid's looking very promising, Mr. Moreland. Oh, hi, Lee. Say, hi. who says for you? Nobody sent for me. Hey, listen, I'm getting tired of being pushed around and shoved aside. Who's the boss of this outfit, anyway? What do you mean, boss? You heard me. Hey, are you mixed up in this? Are you speaking to me, my boy? Listen to you. I took you on and I'm handling you, and I'll do as I please with you. Now, don't get fresh with Mr. Moreland. Well, I, I'm afraid there's a little misunderstanding here. Now, these gentlemen were just telling me how interested they are in you. I want a grand plan for you. Yeah, it must be swell. I haven't even got a sparring partner. A sparring partner? I think the boy's right. Where are we going to get a sparring partner around here? Well, that shouldn't be difficult. Will you excuse me a minute? Good evening, Mr. Moreland. Do you find that this uh, nightlife helps you with your book on Murrieta? Thing help yours? No, my visit here is purely social. Mine was prompted by curiosity. Fortunately, I ran into some congenial friends. Uh, friends? I thought they were just mere acquaintances. Hey, listen, I've known the professor hey, ever since. Uh, give me a light. Uh, professor? Oh, uh, just a nickname. Lots of writers are called professor. They'll probably be calling you that next. <laughs> yes. Have a drink? Uh, no, thanks. Just stop by to say hello. We've already left the girls too long. Hey, listen, don't forget that sparring partner. No, I won't. Did you know this fellow Moreland before you came here? No. But there's another guy in that bunch I've never seen. A fellow named Morgan. That's how I met him while I was delivering a telegram to him. Morgan, huh? Sounds sort of like Moreland, doesn't it? Morgan. Professor. Hey, I never... Writer. So am I. Yeah, I think he's a phony. I'm gonna go Shut out. up. Another break like that last one. You'll be going home without seeing the scenery. I just said I was gonna go get a drink. I'll join you all a little later. There's something I want to find out. Can I go with you? No, you stay here with the girls. How about a drink on me, old man? No. How about a pink lady? What are you... A brunette. Never mind, skip it. I'll take mine straight. Get over there, quick. Before Chuck starts shooting off his mouth again. We're just about to buy our friend a drink. Uh, how about you boys? Thanks. We can buy our own drinks. <laughs> all right, have it your way. I just want to be friendly, that's all. Get you something, sir? Oh, no, well, no thanks. I'm just leaving. Yes, sir. 
Hey, that little messenger boy's getting to be quite a problem. Yeah, now we gotta dig up a sparring partner for him. Yeah, and who can we get? Sparring partner? Say, I'm the best man you could possibly get, partner. Shut up and sit down. Oh, no, I'll show you. You wanna fight? Keep your mouth shut before Wait I... Wait a minute. You. you want a job as a sparring partner? That's what I said. You see that fellow sitting over there? The one that was just over here? That's the fella. Well, if you can whip him, the job's yours. Yeah? Well, you just watch me. I'll get him with one hand. Watch. Well, that ought to start something. Yeah, that ought to take care of our palsy wowsy those guys will ever get me a fight? Oh, sure, kid. Hey, how'd you like me to take you to the cleaners? What? I'm gonna make it legal. I'm gonna sock you. Oh, go away. Go away. Look out! This guy is crazy. Oh, John. What's the matter with me? Oh, hey, what's the idea? Yeah. Hey, get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Thank you. Oh, it's for my father, Rolly. I'll give it to him. Oh, thank you. Something far more interesting. What is it? Oh, curiosity killed a cat. This is it, Dorothy. What is it, Daddy? The Jarvis diamond. Just think of it. That? It looks like a big lump of glass. Now, perhaps, to the untrained eye. But wait, Dorothy. It's marvelous. Ah, priceless. Yes, I know, but I can't imagine it's sent here in an old shoebox. Why, well, the package wasn't even insured. Exactly. So it's here, safer and more quietly than if it had arrived with an escort of armed guards. Something, mister? Oh, yes, yes, nice. Look at that letter. Oh. oh, oh, here it is. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, it's very nice. <laughs> oh, here are the reports of several experts. Hans Goulden, he's a master craftsman. Jacob Card, he's mighty good too. Mm -hmm. These will save a lot of time. A little higher, Shorey. Some guy hit me with a table down that roadhouse last night and nearly broke my back. Look what a bottle done to my head. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Chuck? Still suffering from last night? Uh. Oh. <laughs> 
don't do that. Ah, uh -uh. you're getting soft, Chuck. You're getting soft. Hey, next time you want to start something, you better pick a place where they don't like fighting so well. Oh, yeah? Something I want to find out. What do you want to find out? Uh, nothing. Well, then, what'd you ask me for? Ask you what? What? What'd you just ask me? I didn't ask you anything. Why, well, you did, too. What'd oh, you say? Oh, you mean just what I said just now? Yeah. I was running with you up the second floor of the same jump down around the, the room there with the key. What? You can't bounce a meatball. Why not? Because... Oh, sit down, will you? Let me alone. Oh. Well, good evening, everybody. Oh, well, here he is. What, somebody want to see me? He does. What do you want, Lee? Oh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing special. I... Where you been? I've been looking for you. Out for a walk? Want anything special? No, uh, I just want to say hello. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Well, I guess I better go up and clean up a bit. See you all later. Is that all you wanted to say to Jerry? Just hello? Yvonne. Yeah? What do you think of Jerry? Well, I think he's darling. Oh, no, I don't mean that. Well, what do you mean? I mean, what kind of a guy do you think he is? Do you really think he's a writer? Why, of course. What else could he be? That's what I'd like to know. He seems kind of, well, kind of mysterious to me. Ah, oh, you've been reading too many detective stories. Maybe you're right. Say, what did you say about those meatballs? Nothing. Only you can't bounce them. Why not? Well, because... Uh, what'd you say? Oh, you never listen to me. I can talk my head off and... I'll say you can. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Cleaning some of the mud off my shoes. Come in. Make yourself at home. What's on your mind, Lee? Oh, nothing. Hey, listen, what were you doing playing Peep and Tom outside Mr. Lanning's window? So you recognize me? You're darn tootin'. I was just checking up on Mr. Lanning. Oh, just checking up, huh? You know, they put guys in jail for that kind of checking up. Wait a minute, kid. I guess I'll have to let you in on something. 
But you've got to keep it in strict confidence. Have I your word? Sure, only I don't see what right that gives Good. you. Mr. Lanning has in his possession the Jarvis Diamond. Ever hear of it? No. It's worth over a quarter of a million dollars. <whistles> Boy, I've heard of that. Gosh, I don't blame you for wanting to kipe it. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. I wasn't trying to steal the diamond. Well, then what were you doing peeking in the guy's window? Look at this. You? Yes. Well, gee, I, I'm sorry. Why'd you tell a guy you were a flatfoot? Well, 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 in cases like this, one usually doesn't go around telling everybody his business. Oh. Everything okay now? Well, sure. And listen, if I can ever help you, you just let me know. I think I'd make a swell detective. Thanks. And I may have to call on you. Gee, that'd be keen. Shall we get downstairs now? Okay, partner. Good. Come in. Now, Dad, you must get some rest. You've been at this night and day. Oh, it won't be much longer. But your health is more important than all the diamonds in the world. You'll just have to rest. But I'm through. See? I'm ready for the cutting. I'm going to wire Mr. Davis tonight. But, Daddy, dear, you look so tired. Oh, now, don't you worry about me. I'll be all right. <laughs> Well, Professor, I see you received my message, all right. I'm here, aren't I? What's up? Anything new? Lanning wired Davis last night, giving his estimate of loss and the possible value of the cuts and so forth. And he... How much does the old man think the stones will be worth when finished? Why do you ask? Just curious. 300,000. Davis wired his acceptance, and Lanning is going to start cutting immediately. And as soon as he's finished, I'm to get the diamonds? Right. Stevens, I think we better make a new deal. You already have a deal for 15,000. Do you think that's quite fair, considering? Considering what? That I'm taking all the risk and you're getting all the gravy? It was your bargain, wasn't it? Okay, Stevens, we'll let it go at that. Now you're talking sense. We'd better get started immediately. Let me start first. I want to get back and keep my eye on things. I think you're right. We can't be too careful. Give me five minutes starting. So long. run away with you. Maybe, but I'll be glad when you've sent it back. In pieces. Here, look how well I'm getting along. Dad, you're letting this job take too much out of you. Oh, nonsense. I enjoy it. Will you have some lunch today? No, just tea. <laughs> oh, pipe down. I want to get some sleep. Hey, why don't you cut out that road work? The rest will do you good. Yeah, well, the exercise will do you good. I'll break your neck for that. Oh, yeah? Ha, 
here, here, here. What is all this? Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to get this guy to give me a workout. And he doesn't want to? No. I should think you'd want to keep your protege in training. Well, he's only fooling, weren't we, kid? Well, sure. Well, come on, ambitious. Thanks very much. Am I finally going to get a workout? Yeah, you're really going to get a workout. It's about time. Now, this is the tea, yeah. and this is the hot water. Mm -hmm. And don't you forget about it. don't like this, he ain't so smart, so I think he is. No, he'll be hungry enough. He hasn't had a bite to eat all day. Are the potatoes ready, Nelda? Oh, already, ma'am. Oh, Where did you get that? Well, I was hungry. Did I ever see you when you wasn't? Get back up there and do those dishes. Go on, you. sent to him to be cut up into smaller stones. And the stone he cut up was the Jarvis diamond. The Jarvis diamond? I just know something's happened to him. I was afraid when he took it. Don't worry, we'll find him. Come on, we'll search every room. Yeah, yeah we'll find him. Right 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 things. He won't need them now. How do you know? Who do you think you're talking to, young man? What are you doing here? Well, I come looking for Mr. Landon. Well, so did I. What shall I do with this? Oh, just put it down there. I'll take care of it. Tori, you told everyone about those diamonds. Why? It won't help your father wherever he is. It might hurt. There's a streak of larceny in most of us, you know. Why do you think that? It's my business, for one thing. I was sent here by the insurance company to protect those diamonds. Oh, so that's all you're worrying about. Well, I wouldn't care if those diamonds never showed up as long as I knew that Dad was safe. Dorothy, dear, I'm going to search every foot of this lower floor myself. I'll find him. You'll see. Oh, poor Dorothy. I feel so sorry for her. She's terribly upset. Well, and maybe a bit of tea will perk her up a bit. Oh, I could use a little of that myself. Say, look at that. Why, that bag of tea hasn't discolored that water one bit. Well, let me see that. Oh, for goodness. Uh. Ah! <gasps> what a 
What is it? Oh, my land. Where'd Dorothy go? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, I've got to find her. I found the diamonds. Auntie, really? Mm -hmm. Did they find Mr. Lanning? No, not yet. Oh, I've got to get rid of these horrid things. Oh, I can't do that. First thing you know, I'll be disappearing, too. Oh. Now, you stay right here and keep your eye on them. I'll find Dorothy. Yes, Auntie. Bring it back. I just want to race. Oh, dear. Oh, oh my arm. Oh, what's the matter? Any one of those terrible fight men, you know, the one they called Chuck, came down and You're sniveling. A trace of them outside. Just, Just the, the one. one. One what? That man Chuck took our newspaper up in his room. Would you get it for us? Well, sure, I'll get it for you. And don't open it. Bring it just as it is. Why? Now, don't ask a lot of silly questions. Well, get the paper. It's very important. Say, have the sparkler shown up yet? No. You know, Chuck, I wonder if the professor could be pulling a fast one on us. Well, I wouldn't put it by him. Well, we'll soon find out. Come on. What do you want? Well, uh, nothing. I just want to get the newspaper. The diamonds. Boys, we're all set. I've got them. Dave, warm up the car. Okay, Chief. Get your things together and park the car right there in the driveway. Get going. Oh, there he is, Jerry. Oh, Lee, Lee, are you all right? What happened, Lee? Oh. Oh, did I hurt you? Oh. Oh, I did. I, I'm so sorry. Oh. Hey, that isn't me. What? Oh. Listen. Hey, Jerry, look. It's Mr. Lanning. It was Mr. Moreland. I remember now. It was Moreland. He clipped me on the chin and then he took the diamonds. Stop him before he gets away. Come on, kid, let's get him. Listen, you stay here and take care of him. All right. Just a moment, Professor. I'll take those. Get them, Lee. Jerry, look out! Here we go!
Mr. Morland, I think you've got a little present for me. I got a present for you, too. All right, you get in the back seat there. Lay get at the wheel. Okay. Take these boys down to the station. Hey, Chuck. What do you want? You know, I got a hunch you ain't gonna look so good in stripes. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. Come on, Lee. Now, one more move out of that. You know... You know what I think? I think that Jerry took a runout powder on you. I don't think he's ever coming back. Would you like to bet? <laughs> no, but, you know, since he caught those crooks and had them put in jail, and you know he saved the diamond, well, he's turned out to be nothing but a great... You... Smile when you say that. Hi, Jerry. Jerry! What? Well, what do you think about that? Well, he's a better detective than I thought he was. You're so cute. 